<laughs> oh, well, hello, I'm Armando. Um, I do go to Lone Star University. Um, a little background story about myself. Uh, I was Catholic before I turned to Christ. Um, I was a second born child in a Catholic home. You know, growing up, it was, I wouldn't say it was difficult, but I never knew who really God was. I knew, like, just, and you know, like, oh, this is him, and da 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 da, but not necessarily who he was or what he does. So, what influenced me a lot to kind of stray away from him, like to be a rebel child, <laughs> was um, music and family. Um, music influenced me a lot. I listened to the, you know, Houston rappers that influenced me that I wanted to be like them. I wanted to be, uh, you know, just like them. I wanted to be a rebel. I wanted to do my own way. Uh, I wanted to be like my family. You know, my family, um, sadly, half of them were locked up. Um, it's hard to see that. Um, so, Literally, this is how I got involved in Crew myself. Um, one day, I saw a banner of Crew, and I was like, what is that? So I literally just walked in, and I'm like, am I in the right place? Like, <laughs> it was creepy, because everyone was looking at me, just like, like oh. uh, <laughs> what did I do? Um, but, you know, as soon as I started learning about Crew and what he, uh, who God really is, and, you know, they're throwing little Bible verses in there, really encouraged me to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. So um, people were telling me about Winter Conference that saying that Winter Conference is this and that. I'm like, I gotta go check this out. Let me see what this is. So I, I was in a money struggle and I was kind of scared. I was like, I can't go. And then, you know, by God, th uh, from God, he was like, you can go, my child, it's free. That's what the message was sent to me. So I went. So Winter Conference actually changed my life. I went there with a goal to figure out where I was with God. And it turns out I have a lot to do. <laughs> I have a lot. Um, you know, compared to being with my family and being with crew family is totally different because my family exposed me to the world at a very young age. I witnessed a lot of things. Um, but to crew family, they opened up my eyes to what I really wanted to be. I wanted to be a Christian. So after crew conference, I came back. I devoted my life, I redevoted my life back to Christ at Winter Conference. Uh, I told the um, Lone Star Sci Fair that when we had our little meeting that I told him that um, I'm ready to give my life back to God. I don't wanna be this, uh, somebody who's pretending who he's not. Uh, so coming back to Lone Star was a, it was a challenge because I told my, first thing my mom told me is I told her that, cause I've been down this path before, but I failed at it. So I wanted to do it again the right way. And I told her the first thing she told me was that you're gonna go back to the way you were. And that hurt me, that like really got to me. Like I went into my room, I cried, because I was hurt by that. I look up to my mom a lot. She is my idol. Um, so I said, I'm not gonna let that stop me from doing what I want, I'm not. So I got with uh, TC, who unfortunately is not here. Shout out to him, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, he told me, he's like, hey, do you want to get baptized? And I was like, I said yes, I like instant, but I was like, hold on, let me take a step back. So I really took the time and thought about what I wanted to do, and I said, yes, let's do it. So God has a funny way of doing things. God was like, not this weekend, you're not doing it. I was like, okay. The following weekend, no, you're not gonna do it. The day he picked was one of, I would say one of the best days of my life. To others, it would be the worst, because it was raining, it was dark, it was cold. And the pool that I got baptized in was uh, like the Jordan River. That's how it was, literally, just like that. Um, so um, when I got baptized, it was a reawakening of my spirit. Like, I was excited. So after I got baptized, I wanted to be who I wanted to be. When I told my family, literally my family kind of disagreed with me. They, they kind of shunned me in a way. Like, they were wondering why I did this. And again, I was hurt by it but it still didn't stop me. So from there on, after I did all that, I went to Lone Star. I read the Bible. I read the book of James. Oh my gosh. Y'all read the book of James, like, wow. I was like, whoa, what's going on? Like, he just told people this and that. So I'm like, I wanna be like James. So I literally went to other people and told them what they're missing out on. So after that, I'm reading the book of Luke currently. And I'm still on the very first page. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and then I was reading about when the angel came down and told the prince that 
you're, you're, um, you're not gonna have a child. You're gonna have a child. You're not gonna be able to talk for six months. And I was like, whoa, what the heck? So I run around campus, literally run around campus and just like, my mind blown. I was so shocked by it. And that at that moment, I knew that I'm with Christ. I'm with God. I'm with who I wanna be with, no matter where I came from. Even all the pain that happened, you know, I'm happy where I'm at now. I'm still not where I want to be, but I'm working on it. And I love it, because I go to Lone Star. I'm a diehard Lone Star. Um, I love it. It gives me an opportunity to express to other people that what God is doing in my life and hopefully change their life. Thank you.